YouTube, what's going on? It's outside, true outside. Top of the night, top of the evening. Nice night out. Oh, just got to work, had a little grub. Just now, I'm about to take a walk and whatnot. Chop it up and try for a few. Um, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy, y'all. Uh, DeJounte Murray shredded to the ATL. Um, San Antonio is uh, rebuilding. They, they're, they're rebuilding. That's probably what it is. Um, if I was Greg Popovich, Popovich is up there in age. I think he's, what, 70, 71, whatever. Yo, man. Hang it up, man. Tim retired. Manny retired. Parker retired. You know, um, just hang it up, yo. Got five chips, you're a Hall of Famer. It's time for a new voice, you know? How you doing? You know what I mean? It's time for a new voice. Um, we got Becky Hammond. I think she's still, oh, no, nah, I think she's a NBA, WNBA coach, I think. But, um, you know, just, just, it is what it is, it is what it was, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's just my take on that part. But, um, Jonathan Murray, Trey Young, stay backcourt. Um, now, Atlanta ain't done. John Collins won out. Uh, there's rumors that uh, Clint Capella might get traded. Um, I wouldn't trade Clint. But at the same time, I mean, you know, I wouldn't trade him. But then, if you do trade him, it's not like it's not like he, you know. I put it like this: Clint Capella had his time in Houston. He went to Atlanta. He became okay. He came high. But in Houston, he did his thing. So. Eventually, they they probably looking. Well, I didn't say probably. They're going to because they're going they're going to look for a new power forward as far as a center, a big. You know, excuse me, it's fifty fifty. You know, uh, Atlanta. You know, this this pick up they this pick up they uh they got with the John with the the John T. Murray. Excuse me. It's not a bad look. Um. I'm going to see how it play out. Part of me is saying it's not a bad look, but then a small part of me is like, let's see, let's see, you know, let's see. Um, as far as the Knicks is concerned, the Knicks, man, because the Knicks, to be honest with you, DeJounte Murray was going to be a plan B if, if, they, if they didn't get Jalen Brunson. Um... And then there were talks that they was trying to get Jalen and DeJounte Murray. A, a backcourt, you know what I mean? A one-two. That would have been a good, good look for the Knicks. Um, you know, a lot of Knicks fans feel some type of way, whatever. Chill, relax, still early. The Knicks ain't done. You know what I mean? Um. I don't think just I don't, I don't think just them getting Jalen Brunson is it. No, they're gonna make another move, like how they picked up Kemba. No, like how they picked up Evan Fournier. Then like a week or two later, Kemba, Kemba, you know, pulled up. But you see how that shit went down. That shit didn't work. You know, that shit didn't work at all. Um, I think Kemba is done too. He's washed up. I think. We ain't gonna see that Charlotte or that year he had with Boston anymore. I think he's just gonna be a backup, just a bench player. You know? We'll have no sense if he'll go overseas. I don't know. But anyways, getting back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, you know, let's see. Let's see, Nick fans. Chill, relax. You know, we got 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 Brunson on deck, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. 
so you know, we'll see what happens. It, you know, I know, I know, I know this is about John said, but I'm gonna mention Jalen a bit more. Is Jalen? Is he worth one ten? No, but yes. No, because throughout his career so far, he's been like a role play. He's been a backup. This season that just passed, you know, blossom. You know what I mean? Did his thing. He dropped big numbers. Um, the yes part, as far as the Knicks, Knicks is concerned, we have, you know, we're getting a true point guard. I think Jalen is like a true point guard. You know, he's 6'1", got a, got a point guard size, he's a lefty, and he knows how to, you know, control the game, control the tempo. And that's what the Knicks need. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Knicks need. So, is he worth 110? Fuck it, why not? You know what I mean? You know, for the past couple years, the past few years, I mean, we ain't really had you know, a somewhat top tier point guard since Raymond Felton left. To a degree, you know. So yeah, um so I you know, I I, I think with Jalen I think with Jalen Brunson alone, it could definitely get us to the playoffs. Maybe get us to the second round. Everybody play their cards right, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um you know, shout out to Nils Noel, Alec Burks. Y'all did y'all thing for the Knicks for a couple years. Wish y'all well. Like I said before, I did a blog on the John Wall. Nils Noel should buy, buy out his contract and go, go to the Clippers. If I was the Clippers, I'll pick him up because, like I said, they don't really have a backup big. And, you know, they could use a backup big. You know what I mean? It's a good, you know, Nerds Noel is a good solid backup big, you know. Dude, block shots, rebound. Slim dude, you know, slim, slim cat, but he plays his part. You know what I'm saying? So I think, I think the Clippers should pick him up. You know? And I'll give a chance, and you know, for Nerds Noel, I give him a chance to go to the playoffs. Never knows go to the Western Conference Finals. So yeah. But um back to uh John T. Murray. Shout out to him, he went to Atlanta, it's a new home. I think this year, this upcoming season will be his sixth year or seventh year, something like that. So it's in his prime. Still got a lot of ball on him left, you know. Hopefully, hopefully things work out in the A. You know what I mean? So, we'll see. But it's about to get lit in free agency. About to get lit. All right, y'all. It's outside, you outside. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the few new uh, subscribers. Salute. Appreciate that. You know, drop a comment. I'll talk back. And uh, I'll holler. You can go ahead to the crib and... Take care of some BI. Alright? One. Hold on.